guys, we have a really fun video for you. If you like seeing and creating epic footage like this. We got a really cool episode for you because we're going to show you exactly how we do it and we're going to have some along the way. We're going to mess around with our X3 cameras from Insta360. We're going to put on a whole mess of different aircraft and possibly even drop one. Oh, we're definitely dropping one. All right, we're about to head up to Robart and Zap Runway, which is our newest runway here at Edgewater. Before we do that, I'm gonna take a moment to just tell you a bit more about these awesome X3 cameras and tell you why we love them and probably why you're gonna love them. But one of the things we love most about the X3 versus like a traditional action camera like a GoPro is that like when we shoot content, we don't have to worry about what we're capturing because we're capturing everything, right? And another cool thing about the X3 is that we're gonna be using today an invisible selfie stick. So you get a really cool third person view with that selfie stick and I'm gonna be using it today while I'm running after the X3 that we're dropping from the airplane, which is gonna be insane. And then the X3 also gives you the opportunity to kind of mess around with both 360 but also single lens options. Um, and when you do that, you actually get this max view, 170 degree angle, comparatively to like a regular action camera, like a GoPro at like 140 degrees. All right, and then last but not least, obviously you're probably thinking about, okay, well, traditional action cams versus 360 cams, like what's the price point on these things? Um, it's actually super reasonable comparatively. A GoPro is coming in at like uh, $550 or so, which is a fixed field of view, uh, no 360 options. The X3 is actually coming in at like 449, which is about 20 or so odd percent cheaper than like a GoPro. So you're essentially getting the opportunity to have a single lens and a double lens, a 360 lens. So you're actually getting like two cameras in one for 20% cheaper than what you would get with a regular action camera. So we're really excited about it, and as you've seen, we love using it on all different sorts of things from standard you know, selfie sticks to drones and airplanes and all that kind of stuff, even on our one wheels. <laughs> so we're gonna put these cameras all over the plane, all over the drone, I'm gonna have one in a selfie stick. Um, we're gonna have a ton of fun today. Um, we'll be able to capture everything. So hopefully you can come along with us, enjoy this ride, because it's gonna be a wild one. So we're gonna try something really cool here. Uh, we're gonna do a bomb drop, but instead of having a parachute, which oftentimes floats away far from where we wanna be it, we're gonna basically do a whistle. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, shuttlecock. Yeah, shuttlecock. Shuttle yeah. We're gonna tie this to the X3. We're gonna put it in the bomb base so you're not gonna see anything, but the point of view that you're gonna get is a chase cam view. And then when we drop it, it's then gonna chase this all the way down to my best friend, who's gonna try to catch it in the bullseye. And Dave's gonna be my bombardier because I can't hit the front side of the building. <laughs> Show the B-roll. Oh! And drop it. Oh. Oh! We're just gonna go ahead and lengthen. What do you want? How long do you want to make it? Maybe 30 feet? Yeah. I think 30 feet is stuff. See that balances out real nice like that. And by the way, if you guys want to see a free file for this, let us know. We'll perfect it. Uh, we'll do some cool things with it, and then we'll give it to you. All right, let's uh, switch this out, Mr. Stefan. All right, dude, I shall walk. Why don't you go out by the zap sign? All right, I'll go by the zap sign. I think maybe 20 feet. Yeah, how about that, right there? Is that the back of the, uh, of the airplane? This would actually be where the Insta, so the, it'll be right here. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, and then if that drops down a little bit, you'll still hopefully capture a little bit of it. Yeah. Know? Feeling it? Yeah. Okay. If it doesn't show up, it's my fault. All right. I like the I like the bumper. <laughs> the hurdy got broke. <laughs> That's not gonna lie. That's pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely. Uh, yeah. We should get you a helmet. Slow it down, but not much. Yeah. It'll be okay. Okay. Super Dave, are you ready? Did you just call me Super Dave? I you Super Dave. Should I turn it on before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is everything else? That'd be hilarious. It's like it's not on. That was the most amazing thing ever. Okay, no it's one not on. <laughs> so should I probably favor this this way so that way the tension of this It'll pulls it out here? Okay. Well, what if you want to favor the other way so it pulls it out? Well, the problem the, the problem is if, if we put it this way and no, it's like like underneath. Oh, yeah. like this. Because what do you think about it when it's pulled from the back? When did it pull it out the front? I wonder's right. I, I, I can't even see what's going on yeah. up there. So. I, he's, he's spot on. You, you. Good Stop. job. Stop. 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 Mike, if it doesn't work, we know who we're going to play. Cool. Cool. So I think it's it's right. off. It's off. And we have to work up smashing to the side of it. Yeah, Put this guy down here. I got it. I don't have 
battery's hooked up to the motors yet. So this model is absolutely incredible. It's one of the most stable platforms. This is an XL version of Dave's first design that we put out on the flight test store, the uh, B25. This is the B25 XL. And we use this for dropping uh, 3D printed bombs on foam board tanks. And uh, is that pretty much it so far? Is this the second time it's been out? Um, yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. We always get a lot of questions on like how we record stuff and everything. This is yeah. kind of a behind the scenes on how we do it all. Yeah, we're, we're basically taking every single technique that we use and we're putting it in one episode so that way you guys can pick and choose what you like the most. And we want to see more content like this from other people. All right. Okay, we're ready to do this. We're ready to do this. Um, Noah's wrapping up, uh, turning on all the cameras. Yep. Mike's actually flying my personal Street League racing quad Ooh. with a camera on it. That's it. <laughs> it's carrying the X3. Are you ready, guys? So we have what? Three? three yeah, we've got, a, we've got an X3. Yeah. 360 X3 on the plane. I have one on a selfie stick, which will be used here shortly. And then uh, there's one on Michael's quad. I love it. So I'm gonna go for altitude here. It's a good idea. Mike, how, how's your signal, Mike? Good. Good. So, Stefan, you're gonna make your way out to the bullseye. We're gonna try to drop this so you can carry a selfie stick and catch this, right? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the plan. All right, so we got all these Insta360 X3s up here on these airplanes. I want to touch base on a couple different things is that they've got this 360 like HDR. So you've got stabilized footage um, anywhere you go, anything you're doing. But at the same time with the HDR, you get that really solid highlights of the actual color of your footage, which is pretty awesome. All right, and then, you know, for us here, like we're doing crazy stuff in the sky and on the ground and inside the HQ. Um, it's got this giant 170 degree wide angle 360 capability lens. Um, so we're capturing everything. We know we're always gonna get that shot, um, which is pretty much amazing. And it's in 4K too, which is awesome. And then you jump down to like time-lapse mode on these suckers. Um, we do that a lot inside the shop uh, when we're building stuff and capturing content in there. That's 8K, which is fantastic. So you can speed up that footage so you don't have like three hour long episode. And then like last but not least, you know, we talk about this all the time, like when we put stuff on a drone, he's doing crazy flips and tricks and all this kind of stuff chasing our airplanes when Michael's doing that. And these have a horizon lock that no matter whether he's doing inverted or regular or flipping around doing crazy stuff, you're always gonna keep that same horizon lock. Noah uses that all the time and it's helped a whole ton later in post. So we know we always get that shot and it's always stable, it's always level. I think that's a pretty good. I think you're on a pretty good approach awesome. right there. Stefan, why don't you make your way? All right. When this thing drops, I'm gonna do one more turn. So you guys, see you guys later. Time. All right. All right. Good luck, Stefan. Stefan's making the way to the Edgewater Bullseye. We've used this a lot of different times. We love our bullseye. <laughs> Mike's chasing me. All right, Bombardier, you're gonna call it. You tell me left, right, forward, oh, back. Boy. I think you gotta come to the left a little bit. All right, left. That's great. Come towards <laughs> yourself. Or wait, yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's safe right in there. Maybe. All right, bombs away. Oh, it did it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's faster than oh, I thought. Oh, wow, that's going way, way over there. Good luck, Stefan. Keep coming. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, that gosh. wind is real up there. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, oh, boy, please don't be in the creek. Hey, how waterproof yeah. is the x <laughs> Running. It might have a chance. Oh, that looks straight in the creek, dude. Oh, he just missed it. Did he? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wherever fighting a war, do not have me drop the bombs. All right, I'm bringing it in. Wow, that wind is crazy. It is, but yeah, this handles it so beautifully. Look at that. I'll just put it down nice and slow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Josh. So one of the best ones you guys have. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. Now I'm tired. All right, so Stefan missed it, but then again, to be fair, I should have dropped it over here knowing what we know now. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. All right, let's go see if it recorded. Okay. This is going to be some good yeah. footage. Hey, Noah, your bumper worked like a dark. It was like a perfect drop, except too far away. <laughs> I really thought it would go just straight down, but the wind is real up there. Oh, it is. Oh, it's very, definitely real. I was also afraid this was going to the river. How far away were you from the river? So you landed right on the other side of the ready board runway sign. Oh like five feet from it. So it was close. So a little like Another 10 feet that way. Feet to be in the we, would be, we would be seeing how waterproof it is. <laughs> okay. Hey, by the way, are these waterproof? These are waterproof. Well, so we would have been fine. We would have been totally fine. 100%. <laughs>
<laughs> all right. This is awesome. All right, so guys, we wanted to show you how easy it is to capture footage, especially when using these amazing cameras here. And also, we want to see as much model aviation content as possible, not just from flight tests, but from our community and from our friends. The more that you guys share this, the more you inspire people, the more the hobby grows. These cameras are a great way to do all of that. That's right. These literally can allow you to do all the different things that you want to do with one camera, right? You, you shoot now, you point later, all of these cool features yeah. um, that you've already heard about. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. Go grab yourself an X2 camera with our link. That's going to help us out a ton. And also, if you purchase, you're going to get a free selfie stick, which is pretty awesome. Hope you like some of this more old school content. Thanks so much for being part of the family. We'll see you next time. See you guys.